Hello everyone and today we'll be doing a simple program it w is uh, the input stream overflow handling sometimes when you're doing a program and you ask to enter a number then you ask to enter a character uh, sometimes the uh, one of the instructions gets skipped because there are these um, not ghost there are these unprintable uh, ASCII characters that are in the input stream um, so I'll just show you that I've had the, I have the basic program here already and I I um, made two int variables and one char variable I have a simple for loop here simple for loop because I want to sh uh, show you it over and over and over uh, again how it works I'm gonna show you two ways on how to deal with this input stream overflow okay um, so first let's write some instructions in here This is just basic instructions. So I'm asking the user for a number in this case. And just take a copy of this, just faster change around a few things enter a the character placeholder here and the character is character variable ch now let me show you what happens. I'm just going to do a little formatting here so it looks good when we do it. Execute the program. Let me show you what happens here. <clears throat> now this for loop all that does is just repeat this over and over until it runs out, until this condition is met. No longer uh, viable and then it will kick out of the loop. <clears throat> All right, let me show you what happens. I'm going to save this and compile. Good. Right. Enter number. I'll enter 5. Boom. See? Enter character. It skipped that portion and it went again. It went around the loop again to the beginning. Enter number 7 see it skipped it again it skipped enter character so an invisible character is being is being outputted to the 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 character uh, variable an an invisible character it's a, a non printable ascii character now i can show you what it is i can show you the the what is actually there there is something there in the character field there is something that is just not printable that is actually the new line feed or number 10 all right I can show you that here what we're gonna do is just gonna print out percent d percent um, d for we're gonna that we are printing out the ascii integer for the character okay all characters have an ascii integer that represents it 
and we'll just put ch we want to see what's in ch what was placed into that variable ch let's see here save compile okay enter number six see enter character there you have it 10 10 was entered actually into that and if you look up on your ASCII tables you'll see that 10 represents the new line feed so to deal with that what we're going to do is there's this way you can deal with it this is actually the long way to do it deal with it there's a simpler way I'll show you this really cute way of dealing with it I don't know I find it's cute we'll do a do while loop and we'll say if character and we'll assign a get char to that character to that character variable use get char function then we're just going to say while the condition would be while ch is not equal to 10 see that while ch is not equal to 10 go back in the loop and keep going through the loop keep going into the loop going into the loop until you see 10 which is the new line feed it'll keep doing it keep doing it till it sees 10 then it those then it's going to f um once you get out of that loop ch will be 10 but then we're replacing it replacing ch again down here with what we want actually want so that's okay that we're using ch again up here and that we're using it down here all right so let's try and see the, how that works enter number five enter character there it is so you see it's 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 putting those extra characters into that ch variable yes it's in there but it's making that ch variable available for more characters that's what that it's not a it's not a constant so you can put in whatever you want to put in there all right let's say v ah it printed out i asked for the the ascii code for v so that's still in it that's all right never mind that all right let's go around the loop again six enter character t all right enter number 78 enter character let's enter a bunch of characters the one we want is w but let's say you fat finger and you get all of this in there now what's this is the beauty of that loop that do i loop i put in it will only take the w the rest is just going to go into the loop keep looping and replacing and replacing until it comes to the end it'll see the line feed and breaks out of the loop well, watch watch it watch this see one 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 nine is the ascii code for w so only w was entered let me show you again let me prove it to you let's change this to c so you can see what's actually in that variable all right enter number 45 that's good enter character d there it is you see the d there enter number again because we're in the loop enter character i'm gonna type out a bunch of characters a bunch of them all kinds of characters i'm gonna type out and guess what all it cares about is the first character the d that's all it cares about then boom there you go d enter number enter character okay so we need another uh, another loop beneath there to uh, get rid of the extra stuff but it worked it took the d out and uh that worked fine all right now let me show you another way to do this yep another way
it's probably the industry way of doing it. I'm going to comment this out. Comment out the loop. And we're going to use the industry way of doing it. Real simple, real easy. It's the F flush, the F flush, and what are you flushing? You flushing standard is TD inputs. You flushing the standard input. That's the industry way of doing it. And let's see how that works. Enter number six. Enter character. You see, so it flushed the standard, the input stream of any extra character that might have been in there. Enter no. Oh, sorry. Enter number seven. Enter character H. Enter number H. Uh, let's see. It's N. I'm sorry. Enter number thirty-four. Enter character. G done okay let's try it again I'm just gonna get so I prove that that's working let's try it again and do a whole bunch of 34 enter character I'm gonna put in a whole bunch of stuff and see what happens enter number now we need another F flush beneath the character because while it took the S it did take the S but because of the uh, this overflow of characters it did uh, skip the enter number section so you probably need another F flush let's try that try another F flush here F flush A standard input enter number 45 enter enter a bunch of stuff enter number you see so that worked fine oh sorry no we enter number here not letters enter a character we're gonna put a whole bunch of characters in there and see how it does enter number so just by adding the f flush again below the character uh statement where you input the character you're able to actually clear out the, st the standard input and and get what you expected so that's how you deal with standard input overflow. That's how you deal with the input stream overflow. That's how you deal with it. Handle that. Thank you and have a great day. Fun times programming.